we're back to spreading. We're gonna go up at Doe's and empty that pit out for the year. We are in the 8670 right now. We have the bucket system off. First time we've ever had it off. Christoph and me took it off this morning. It's pretty cool. This thing, you can depressurize it. So they learned that from all those other bucket systems that you have to, I don't know, the 84, you have to do it manually outside. And other ones, you shut the key off, turn it on and wiggle it. This one has its own function and then I power locked it out so nothing works. So it doesn't repressurize for now. But this is on the Bodco, sadly, because the way the draw bar is, can't get it on my tank because my tank has the four inch ball and we can't get that onto here. So we're gonna have to buy a new draw bar to get my track, my tank on this tractor. And we priced it out because um, Oregon's are like 30 minutes from us. They have two of these tractors and they had to do their draw bars too. These are the Cat 3s, they're factory and uh we gotta get the cat four probably like they have that way it's a normal draw bar because we thought taking this off there's a hole in the center like a normal draw bar why is this here <laughs> um there's not so we couldn't just take that off so it's kind of flipped around to work for now and it'll work on the tank but for next year we'll have to probably get a different draw bar to put the ball on it and that right there is scary priced a couple grand for a draw bar but this is on here and my tractor's running. We'll get that fueled up. Had this warming up for like the last, I don't know, five minutes while that was fueling up. We had a pretty hard frost this morning actually, which kind of sucks because we didn't open our tanks. So I spent a good 10, 15 minutes with a bar twisting that PTO to get it broke up because it's not frozen, but it's like a nice little ice layer. I got it working and spinning, so I might have to do the same to this one because if you just turn the PTO on, sometimes it'll go. It has worked, but you're a good chance of snapping the shear bolts or something in the tractor, so I'll just use a bar and get it spinning. And then, from now on, we're gonna just open the tanks because we're at that point of the winter. Nasty. Oh, we'll clean that. Went through this a little bit, clean the window so you guys can see. And we're gonna head up. And we'll start spreading. So, see you when we get up there. So it's not a crazy amount of shit in here. But we're gonna make sure it's empty for the year. Because uh, we didn't have the dry cows up here all year. They were in the pasture, so I mean, the pit doesn't go up too crazy. It was just little heifers up here. And we'll go at it. Christoph brought that up here. He brought the tractor up, started agitating. And then he took off to the woods. My sister's actually gonna be driving this today. She's just not here yet. It's Saturday. So he brought it up and got her agitating at least. And he's got it pretty thick because he was doing it a little bit earlier. And we'll get going. Maybe I'll spread a load with that and show you guys. He's back. He's like, do you want to fill it? I want to take a load. <laughs> so we are filling the first ever load of shit we've pulled with this tractor. Yeah, it's the 540E. That that tractor, actually all the Agcos, um, you can put whatever PTO you want on the back and then you can choose in the cab like right here, you can choose which one you want it to run. So like my tank runs 1000 or PTO, but we put a 540 PTO on it because we were sick of, that's the only implement, one of the only ones that we need 1000 on. So we just stuck a 540 PTO on it and 
then I don't want to change it on the tractor and I literally just come here and I select thousander and it runs at a thousand RPMs and I never have to change the PTO on the tractor. Now, it's just, guys, we are sick of changing from 540 to thousander to use that tractor on every other thing. It's only six bolts, so it's not like it's the end of the world, but when it's the only thing you gotta do it on, we have a couple other things, but it's always on this tank, so this one you switch the law. So in this one, that other one has 540, 540E and thousander. This one just has 540E and a thousander, uh, different options. The new one has 540E and a thousand. And the E is just for eco if you didn't know. So it runs 540 RPMs, but lower RPM. Five, yeah, 540 rotations, but at much lower RPMs. So you're using less fuel. But yeah, I, I just run this on a thousand here while my PTL in the back is actually connected out to 540. They're back to spreading solids. We got Chris over there doing the first ever load with that tractor. That tank looks tiny on there. <laughs> Little 4,000 gallon tank on there. But it's pulling it. And that's all that matters because we need shit going. So we, this whole point of running it this fall still is to find out the last couple kinks in it. We have found one. Um, nothing's ever perfect. But uh, the PTO solenoid, I think she spread for like three hours with it and the PTO solenoid went out on it. It's not a big deal. We've had it happen in some tractors before. The John Deere had it happen planting one year. And I think the 8250 did it once. It's just something that went. Either they never used the PTO a lot, or they did use it a lot. One of the two, but it's shot. And we, our dealer up in Canada has one, but it's Saturday and we can't get to it today. So we'll get it fixed Monday. But as of right now, we are gonna unhook this and put the 200 on. But at least we found one issue, so. We'll have to deal with that in the, in the spring. The tank's about half loaded. And I really hope the jack don't give up. I'm not too worried. How to do something like this before in the past and it held. Are you unhooked over here? Yeah, you can go move it. Go stick it in one of the bunks. You can bring the 200. Bring the tractor. Stan's bringing his. And the 120 was parked all day, but Marcus took that. Stan's gonna take the John Deere. And we'll keep getting work done. She's gonna put this to the side. We'll keep going. You're good. It's like a hundred and twenty, hundred fifty dollar solenoid, so not the end of the world. But much rather figure this out now than in the spring. Not like you. Well, yeah, in the spring we gotta spread shit. So I'd be more mad first day of spreading. We have it on that tank, and I get like 10, 15 loads out, and then all of a sudden we gotta unhook the damn thing. I think I gotta lower it for this track. Well down's easier than off with a load of shit. spreading video in the new track for you guys. I'm gonna just do it later today. 
But I never got to it. So she's gonna sit there. She's gonna go with that. She's still got half a load, but she'll probably load it up. Then we'll go back to spread it. Got Veronica here pulling in the field. She's now in the 200. You got Philip, Stan, and Marcus doing uh, hard manure. They kind of took one of the tractors I was on there, but they're still going at it with the two spreaders. It's a nice day for it. Christoph and Alex are back in the woods again, running lateral lines. And a lot of everything getting done. We're almost done this field. I can go down and then back three quarters of the way with a load. We'll have one field done. I think my sister will have the last load. Well, I think I'm, well, yeah, I'm running out. And she's sputtering again. And we're done with that load. She will have close to the last load. We'll see. Yeah, one field down. We won't be able to spread all of them up here, but we'll get what we can out of the manure pit. She's just spreading. I had to talk to Marcus for a second. He wanted to say hi. Back to loading.
this big grass field here. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna be ending the video. We come up and or coming up on this side right here, empty. It's kind of the driest part of the field. And I think they took off now. But there was a ridiculously amount of geese here. I think I'm gonna end the video here. And probably got a little bit more spreading today, but you guys can't see nothing.